Welcome to Charlie's Tales. My name's Charlie Glass, and I've been collecting, writing, and telling these stories practically all my life. And I really enjoy telling them, and I certainly hope you've enjoyed the, the few the videos we've had out. Uh, and if you do, I would appreciate if you'd subscribe to our channel. And if you're watching the video and you like it, uh, hit the like button, would you please? On any Sunday afternoon when you're out, uh, Riding, you're likely to pass one of the historic markers placed by the side of the road that tells of some important happening just 37 miles east of this spot. Uh, there are signs along the side of the road through through uh, hilly country and through the mountains that reads, look out for falling rocks. I thought that was an admonition to be on the lookout for the mountainside just about to collapse on you but it actually was a historic marker. There was once a, an Indian brave that was a member of the Cherokee Nation who had fallen in love with uh, this maiden from the Red Stick clan of the Creek Nation. Now, the brave's name was Falling Rock, which came from his renowned swimming ability. A little rabbit, Fallen Rock's sweetheart, was the daughter of the medicine man of the Red Stick clan and was considered to be the number two catch in the entire Creek Nation. So like Avis, Little Rabbit had to try a little harder. Long ago, uh, she'd been betrothed to a purple turtle, the wealthiest brave in the entire Creek Nation. Now, you may have recognized that name because uh, one of his descendants was in the vitamin business here several years ago. Little Rabbit had met Falling Rock quite by accident. Falling Rock was hunting uh, down along the boundary between the two nations, just where it passes through Rising Fawn, Georgia. Uh, and it just so happened that Little Rabbit had gone up there with her father on a business trip. Now, Falling Rock hunted with the same prowess that he had possessed uh, in his swimming ability. And so to stave off starvation, he was wading up the creek to catch a crawdad for, for supper. And he eased down the creek and hadn't seen the first crawfish because of all the mud he'd stirred up. But with his eyes uh, totally glued on the, the creek bed, and he almost walked into Little Rabbit as she sat on a log that had fallen across the creek. Well, he immediately recognized her as an enemy but the prettiest enemy he had ever seen. And actually, he was more of a lover than a fighter, and he proceeded to sit down beside her on that log and struck up a conversation on the weather and how pretty her hair was and what are you going to do with that piece of cornbread you have in your pocket? Someone had told her that the way to a man's heart was through his stomach, but she should have known that if one piece of moldy cornbread won him over, he must have been a fine catch. So Little Rabbit had to get back to, to her father before he came looking for her, but she, she said, I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same log. Well, as you probably have already guessed, a romance that could never be flourished. When, when the afternoon came that Little Rabbit had to tell Fallen Rock goodbye, he was shattered. Who's going to cook my cornbread now? His mind was like a steel trap. He said, I got it. Let's elope. Elope, Little Rabbit said. Dad, blame it. I forgot that word hadn't been invented yet. Okay, let's just run away together. And so they departed for parts unknown and, and left a note for her father and for Purple Turtle. Well, when the word got back to each camp, tempers just exploded. Purple Turtle was out two wagon loads of ginseng that he had paid as a dowry, and the medicine man was stunned to think that his daughter would run off with the likes of Fallen Rock. Well, Fallen Rock's family was absolutely convinced that Little Rabbit was just after his inheritance. Spurred on by these indignities that had befallen the two nations, each nation sent out a war party. From the north, the Cherokees sent forth their, their group. From the south, the Cherokees took to the warpath. And, and 
the war cries could be heard echoing across the hills and hollers. Look out for fallen rock. I do hope you enjoyed our, our story today. And if you did, uh, give us a like. And we will talk to you on the next video.